know. I know. This is my like third Ariana Grande recreation video. I don't know what to say, okay? I always love the makeup she wears in her music videos and I just want to put it on my face, okay? Is that a crime? I don't think so. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Curiel and today I'm going to be recreating Ariana Grande's makeup that she wore in her new boyfriend music video. Honestly, that girl does not stop. <laughs> She's constantly bringing out music and this one is a bop again. And I really love the song. She just brings out music that just is like my vibe. You know, I just love it. I'm an R&B baby. It just speaks to my soul. The music video just dropped yesterday and I was like, I need to put this makeup on my face. She had like a baby mint blue on her eyelids as a cut crease with her signature big ass liner and some beautiful lashes and I was like, I need to recreate that. And as per all my other recreations, I wanted to make it affordable. So pretty much all the products that I'm using in today's video are drugstore slash affordable products. And yeah, I'm obsessed with this look. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm actually doing this intro a few hours after wearing this makeup. I've gone out. I've done some errands. I met up with a friend. This has been on my face for several hours now. It's uh, it's still looking pretty good. And I had a compliment on my makeup. So that all speaks for itself, I guess. <laughs> I tried to do my hair a little similar to hers, but she has some, she has some hair, okay? And I can never recreate that. I'm pretty sure it's a wig. But you know, I'm dealing with what I've got in my head. <laughs> this is just a recreation. Obviously, I don't know exact products that she's used and the colors may not be exact, but I had fun. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. Just playing with makeup and using what I have at home. Can I just say I haven't worn wing liner in so freaking long. I think I've fallen back in love with it a little bit. But man, it takes some concentration and I don't know if I can do that on the daily. <laughs> Before we jump right on in, if you like this kind of stuff, makeup, reviews, and a few bad jokes here and there, then why not subscribe? All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell next to it, and that will notify you on all my uploads. And also, if you like these recreations, please leave a thumbs up so I know. Not a lot of people watch these anymore, so I do appreciate you watching this video. And leaving a thumbs up is really gonna help me, because then I know you guys want them, and I'll keep on doing them. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling. <laughs> Let's get into the makeup. So I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the Camo Concealer by e.l.f. Okay, so throughout her crease color, it seems like she has a sandy brown. It's almost neutral. I'm gonna go in with this palette from Wet n Wild, which is the Rose in the Air palette. And I'm gonna take both transition shades and kind of mix them together, because one's too warm and one's too cool, but I feel like together they're gonna mix well and kind of neutralize each other and give the color that I want. We shall soon see. <laughs> Again, with any of these recreation looks, I'm just doing them on the spot. So I'm <laughs> just hoping that it's gonna turn out okay. I really wanna be able to build up this color, so I'm starting off with with not a lot of product, I tapped off all the excess. And I'm just gonna go all on the outer corner, all through the crease and blend it out towards the brow. It doesn't look very intricate throughout the crease. It literally just looks like one color. So I'm just gonna base this and maybe build it up a little bit on the outer corner. Okay, so I think that's looking good. It does look a little bit cool tone right now, but hopefully it'll all turn out all right in the end, how it goes through life. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring a little bit of that mixture onto the outer third of the eye. I've kind of mixed in a little bit more of the warm tone. Only a smidgen. I think that's looking pretty good. <laughs> now it's time to cut the crease. I wanted to really make the mint color pop. So I'm gonna use Makeup Revolution's Conceal and Correct Concealer in the white shade. And I'm gonna use this to cut the crease. The actual cut crease doesn't look that super sharp. So I'm not gonna be too neat with it. I'm just gonna briefly cut it and then just kind of fluff it out a little bit. And it does look like it stops about halfway. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm just going to take my ring finger to blend it a little bit. Now I'm just going to take this little fluffy brush and just go over the edge because again it doesn't look too harsh. So I just want to kind of dull down that blunt edge a little just like that. And I'm going to do one more layer just to build up the white. Okay, so now that is all done, now it's time to go in with the mint. So I searched throughout my whole entire eyeshadow collection and I did not have one single eyeshadow that looked the same color as this color. So I need to mix. And that is something that I regularly do. If I don't have the shade, I'll make the shade. <laughs> This is the Beauty Bay Bright Matte 9 color eyeshadow palette. This is really affordable also. I didn't really want to use two eyeshadow palettes, but I had to for this look. I can be your only one. No, I can be your only one. The colors that I'm going to use from this palette is Jaded and Coconut Crush Pacific Dreams. And I'm going to mix them together to make a nice minty, bluey green color. It's going to be super pretty and I hope it's going to come out similar. Let's go on in and hope this comes out okay. <laughs> Come out a little darker than I would like, so I'm just going over it with the white just to pale it up a little. That's more of the color we need. Okay, looking good. <laughs> I'm 
With this color as well, I'm just gonna kind of fluff it just above my crease and just kind of fade it slightly. Now that is down, I'm gonna take a little bit of the white on a little fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend the edges just ever so slightly on the inner corner right here. And I'm also gonna do the same on the outer corner to blend it into the brown. Okay, so now I'm happy with the color. I'm gonna bring in that brown again and just kind of blend it in further over. I do feel like I've gone a bit too far out with the cut crease. I'm bringing it down on an angle to kind of help with that cat eye illusion that we've got going on. Okay, so I could finesse this for hours, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the shape and the blend and everything and the color. Colors. So now let's move on to the eyeliner, which is gonna be the most difficult part because <laughs> it's make or break, okay? So the way the eyeliner kind of goes is very thin, thick to very thin again, which is kind of like a classic Ariana eyeliner, but it uh, doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner, which to be fair, I have not used in a while. <laughs> This is just in the shade black. I'm hoping I'm just gonna have more control with this because I don't wanna mess up. We're slowly getting there. <laughs> I'm taking my time with this, I'm not rushing. Did I, did I do it? <laughs> I think hers is thicker, but I worry if I make it any thicker, it's not gonna go in my eye shape very well. Fun fact about me, I used to not go anywhere without wing liner on. Now look at me, I barely wear it. I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, wish me luck, <laughs> and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my liner is on as even as I could get it. <laughs> I'm now gonna tight line using the Kiko Jelly Jungle Eyeliner, and this is in the shade 04, which is just black. I just have mascara and lashes left to do and the lower lash line. So I'm gonna do my face now and we'll come back to that in a minute. So her whole base is pretty matte. She does have quite a beaming highlight on, so we'll get to that, but she has a flawless finish as per usual. <laughs> So I wanna get poreless, matte, really smooth skin. So I'm gonna first of all go in with the Revolution Pore Blur Primer and I'm just gonna concentrate this in the areas that I need it where I'm more porous. I'm not gonna put it all over my face because it can kind of ball up if I do that. So just in the places where it's needed. And for foundation, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites. It's the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade F1, and I'm just gonna use a sponge with this. I should really get a shade that's a tad lighter, but I just wanna use this one up. <laughs> right, and I'm just gonna blend this in with my Sports FX sponge. And we are going to get that flawless base. <laughs> I may do like a second layer to build it up and really get complete full coverage. I'm actually going to go in with this Morphe brush to really build it up because I want to be completely flawless and flawless. <laughs> it's just a tad too dark for me so I'm just bringing it down my neck and blending it. Alright now into concealer. She has a very bright under eye so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo concealer again because this is a little bit pale and by a little bit I mean quite a lot. I'm going to kind of blend it out to a triangle shape but I'm not going to go in with too much concealer because otherwise it goes a bit crazy this stuff. Very high coverage so you do not need a lot. I'm going to blend this down the sides of my nose and like just above my lip because she does have a very highlighted area by here. Just gonna go in with a tad bit more just to add a little bit more brightness. I'm just gonna take the excess and add it to other areas. I wanna be slightly lighter, so like my chin and the center of my forehead. I'm actually gonna use a little bit more product and kind of highlight the nose. I'm just gonna use my brush to kind of pat this out because I want this to be more precise. I'm just using my concealer brush here. Just pat it out and then I'll go over it with the sponge. This kind of helps take away excess that may move and then with the sponge it'll just blend away the harsh edges but it won't so much move around. So if you want product in a specific place, go in with the brush first and then blend it out with the sponge. Okay so I'm pretty happy with my concealer placement and everything like that. So now it's time to set it. The only thing that I don't have that's affordable is loose powder. So instead of using that, I'm gonna use this one, which uh, isn't technically a loose powder, but it might as well be right now. It's the Collection Press Powder in 18 Ivory. I really love this stuff and it is kind of blurring on the skin, but yeah, mine's just a catastrophe right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this to set the under eye and then I'll use it on the rest of the face as well. Honestly, this is one of the best powders in my opinion. It just blurs everything and it doesn't take away the coverage on my under eyes. It doesn't feel dry either. It's literally I think maybe two pounds. I'm just gonna take a big old fluffy brush and the excess in the lid and I'm just gonna powder down my face a little. I mean this is a matte finish foundation so you don't need to do this and also the concealer kind of sets down as well so it's not a necessity. She has like a soft bronze and contour so I'm gonna go in with this by MUA and it's the 
Golden Dunes Bronzer and it's got all these multiple shades, it's really versatile. I'm going to take from the lighter side and I'm just going to kind of mix the bottom three together. Slightly bronze the perimeter of the face. I am going to contour a little bit, I'm going to use this kind of fourth shade in the middle here and just use it on the tip of the brush and just kind of go in the cheekbones just to snatch me up a little. Just going to kind of blend them together a little with my powder brush. She doesn't really look like she's got that much blush on, however I am going to add a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this Revolution blush palette, this is in Hot Spice. I'm just going to go in with this shade right here which is kind of like a neutral peachy tone. I'm just going to place this right by here and again I'm going to go over with my powder brush to really dull it down because I don't want too much blush. So now it's time for highlight and this is the only thing that isn't really drugstore but I really looked into my collection and I couldn't find anything that gave the kind of sheen that she had and the colour that she had in my collection apart from this. So this is the Rachel Loves Pixie palette. It's not the most expensive because you get a lot in here but it's not that affordable. It's kind of in the middle. I wanted to do like a super gold highlight. I'm gonna mix the colours T and Clutch together and I'm gonna use that on my face. And I'm not bringing it too far in, I'm just kind of meeting it up with the edge of my iris and I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> she looks like she's got a touch on her brow bone so I'm just gonna add a little bit before I actually put my brow on. And I'm gonna do the same with my nose, Cupid's bow and things because it looks really naturally glowy there. I'm just gonna add the tiniest amount of excess what's on my brush to my nose. Just to make sure it's all seamless, I'm gonna go over everything with my sponge just to really melt it into the skin so it doesn't look like it's sitting on top or anything. And there we go, just a gorgeous a light golden glow. Perfect. So that's pretty much the base all done. I just need to set it and forget it. I'm gonna go do my brows off camera real quick just to save a little bit of time. And also I don't have any drugstore products to use for my brows right now. So I'll be right back. Hopefully have some good brows on. So brows are on. Looking a bit too bushy and bold, but it's fine. And I wanna finish up the eyes, so let's zoom you guys back on in and we'll just do that. It's pretty simple, but let's just go through it. I'm just gonna take a brown eyeliner pencil. This is the Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in Brown by Revolution Pro. I use this one all the goddamn time. But it's just really good and really cheap. Once that's on, I'm gonna take a mixture of the transition shades we've used again, and I'm just gonna buff out the color so it softens it a little bit. I don't wanna take it too far down because it really is concentrated to the lash line. Oh, that's what it looks like in the video. So now I'm gonna pop on some mascara and put on my lashes, and then we'll do a lip. Okay, so lashes are on. We're pretty much finished. It's just now to do the lips. So let's zoom you guys out and finish up. I'm so excited. So for lips, this was actually pretty hard for me. I couldn't really find anything in my collection that was exact because in different lights it look kind of different. Sometimes they look kind of like a pinky mauve, other times it looked like a peachy nude. I'm kind of going peachy nude route and also it didn't look completely matte. It kind of looked like a little bit of a satin finish. I'm going to quickly line my lips with the NYX Los Angeles Matte Lip Liner Pencil. I haven't really lined my whole lip. I've just kind of plumped up the bottom by adding a little bit of shadow underneath and I've just gone around the sides of my top lip to kind of even me out and just to make them a little bit fuller because she doesn't look like she's got heavy lining. And then for the actual lip. I'm going in with this lip paint by L'Oreal which is the matte lip paint and it's in off-white. Now to be honest I don't really particularly like this product but it was the closest kind of colour that I had and it doesn't go down completely matte. It is kind of like a glossy satin kind of finish in my opinion but I feel like this kind of colour matches the tone so we're gonna go with it. Can you see what I mean? It's got that kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> It reminds me of kind of like cake batter and also it's very scented. It may be a little too peachy, but it's the closest that I could get to the kind of look. So it may not be the exact color, but it's kind of similar. The reason I don't like this lip product is it kind of collects in the inner part of my mouth and I hate that. <laughs> Finally, just to add a little bit of setting spray. Again, this isn't a product I particularly like. I would suggest using the NYX matte setting spray. That's amazing. Um, but I don't actually have any affordable matte setting sprays at the moment. I've run out of the next one. So I'm just gonna use this. This is by CYO and it's the fixing spray. It stinks like alcohol and it's just so strong, but we gotta make this last, okay? So alcoholy. <coughs> oh, I forgot. I just want to add a little tiny bit of highlight in the inner corner. She doesn't particularly have this, but I want to do it anyway. <laughs> I'm just going in with Clutch, the highlighting palette. Alright, so this is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna just go do my hair and then I'll be right back. <laughs> we need to complete everything, you know? All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it's another Ariana Grande recreation, but what can I say? I always love the makeup that she wears. When you find 
person who brings out music that speaks to your soul, you know you got a good one, you know? <laughs> Again, this is just a recreation, it's not exact, I've just pulled the things that I've got at home and recreated this look. If you're new and you're just now joining my channel, hello, welcome. I hope you decide to follow along. If you want to, all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell button and that'll notify you of all my future uploads. And if you enjoyed this recreation, then please leave a thumbs up. And yeah, that is it from me, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.